Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christ is risen from the dead. By death, by death, he trampled death. By death, by death, he trampled death. And to those in the tombs, and to those in the tombs, he granted, he granted, he granted life. Christos vos cres, Christos vos cres, vos cres, vos cres, vos cres en his metri. Smeti you, smeti you, smeti you, popra. Smeti you, smeti you, smeti you, popra. Jesus jivotarova. Jesus jivotarova. Jivot, jivot, jivotarova. Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christ is risen from the dead. <laughs> by death, by death, he trampled death. By death, by death, he trampled death. And to those in the tombs, and to those in the tombs, he's granted, he's granted, he's granted life. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, by death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs he granted life. Christos <laughs> Christ is risen from the dead. By death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs he granted life. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace from on high, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy church, for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy father, Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most reverend metropolitan, William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for the venerable presbyterate, the diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our government, for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city, community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from 
all affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and her whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord, to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is due all glory, honor, and worship, now and ever and forever. Amen. Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Sing praise to his name, give to him glorious praise. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Be gracious to us, O God, and bless us. Let your face shine upon us and have mercy on us. O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and forever. Amen. <laughs> Holy begotten Son and Word of God, to become incarnate of the holy Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary and became man without change. You were also crucified, O Christ our God, and by death have trampled death. Being one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim God our Savior, O Son of God risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. <laughs> Wisdom be attentive. Come, let us worship and bow before Christ. O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. When you descended to death, O oh, immortal life, you destroyed Hades by the brilliance of your divinity. And when you raise the dead from the depth of the earth, all the heavenly powers cry out, O giver of life, Christ our God, glory to you. The noble Joseph took down your most pure body from the cross. 
He wrapped it in a clean shroud and with fragrant spices laid it in burial in a new tomb. But you, O Lord, arose on the third day, bestowing great mercy upon the world. The angel standing by the tomb cried out to the mirth-bearing women, Mirth is fitting for the dead. But Christ has shown himself not subject to corruption. So now cry out, the Lord is risen, bestowing great mercy on the world. You fought the good fight with faith, O George, martyr of Christ. You convict the tyranny of their wickedness. You offered yourself as an acceptable sacrifice to God. Therefore, you received a crown of victory. And through your prayers, O Holy One, you obtain forgiveness of sins for all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Cultivated by God, you became an excellent gardener of religion, harvesting the sheaves of virtues for yourself. You sowed in tears, but reaped in joy. You fought to the shedding of your blood, and through your prayers, O Holy One, you obtained forgiveness of sins for all, now and ever and forever. Amen. By your resurrection, O Christ our God, you told the mirth bearers to rejoice, and you filled the weeping Eve, the first mother. You commanded your apostles to proclaim the Savior is risen from the tomb. For you are holy, our God, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, Holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Holy and immortal, have mercy <coughs> on us, holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us.
Let us be attentive. Peace be to all. Wisdom be attentive. Save your people, O Lord, and bless your inheritance, and bless your inheritance. To you, O Lord, I cry out. My God, be not silent to me. The just man will rejoice in the Lord, rejoice in the Lord, and will put his trust in him. Wisdom. Our reading from the Acts of the Holy Apostle. Let us be attentive. In those days, as the number of disciples grew, the ones who spoke Greek complained that their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution of food. As compared with the widows of those who spoke Hebrew, the twelve assembled the community of the disciples and said, it is not right for us to neglect the word of God. We neglect the word of God in order to wait on tables. Look around among your own numbers, brothers, for seven men acknowledged to be deeply spiritual and prudent. And we shall appoint them to this task. This will permit us to concentrate on prayer and the ministry of the word. The proposal was unanimously accepted by the community. Following this, they selected Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, Philip, Proscurus, Nicanter, Timon, Paramus, and Nicholas of Antioch, who had spent a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles, who first prayed over them and then imposed hands on them. The word of God continued to spread while at the same time the number of disciples in Jerusalem enormously increased. There were many priests among those who embraced their faith. Peace be to you, reader wisdom, be attentive. Alleluia, <clears throat> alleluia, alleluia. favored your hand, O Lord. You have restored the well-being of Jacob. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Mercy and truth have met, justice and peace have kissed. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Wisdom, <clears throat> let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all and to your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel. According to Mark, glory <laughs> to you, O Lord, glory to you. <clears throat> Let us be attentive. At that time, Joseph from Arimathea came, and he was a distinguished member of the Sanhedrin. He was another who looked forward to the kingdom of God. He was brave enough to seek an audience with Pilate and urgently requested the body of Jesus. Pilate was surprised that Jesus should have died so soon. He summoned the centurion and asked whether Jesus was truly dead. Learning from the centurion that Jesus was dead, Pilate released the body to Joseph, 
Then having bought a linen shroud, Joseph took Jesus down from the cross, wrapped him in the linen, and placed him in a tomb which had been cut out of rock. Finally, he rolled a stone across the entrance of the tomb. Meanwhile, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, observed where Jesus had been in tomb. When the Sabbath day was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Salome, brought perfume oils with which they intended to go and anoint Jesus. Very early, just after sunrise on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb. They were telling each other, who will roll back the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked, they found that the stone had been already rolled back. It was a very large stone. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting at the right side, dressed in a white robe. This frightened them thoroughly, but he reassured them, you need not be afraid. You're looking for Jesus of Nazareth, the one who was crucified. He has been raised from the dead. He is not here. See the place where they buried him, and then go and tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee, where you will see him, just as he told you. They made their way out and fled from the tomb, bewildered and trembling, but because of their great fear and joy, they said nothing to anyone along the road. Glory to you, O Lord. <clears throat> Glory to you. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. Christos was crescent. Voice in his was crescent. And good morning, everybody. Good morning, Father Peter. My dear friends in Christ, today we remember a group of women called the Mirror Bearing Women. We honor them, we admire their love and their courage and their determination to go and pay respect for Jesus and anoint his body. They committed themselves to following him while he was alive, and so they would not forget him. They would be with him even in his death, even in his burial, even in his grave. They would go to him <clears throat> in love and devotion. They committed their life in service to him. So they are an example for all of us. How do you and I keep our commitments in life? What commitments do you have in your life or should have? For example, marriage is a commitment begins with two people committing themselves to each other. They mutually agree to live together and to work together. It's also a commitment to society. Where would society be without marriage as an institution for those who are called to it? It's a commitment. And so they, the couple announces to live together and to work together. It's an intention that they make which affects their children, their neighbors, their friends, their community, and this country. So you see, it has a ripple effect all the way down from two individuals to more than two. It's a commitment. Most of all, marriage is a commitment to God. They're telling each other in married life, I don't care what happens to me and you, but I love you, 
I'll stay with you. I'll try to be with you and help you and take care of you. Come what may, no matter what. That's an awesome and brave promise to make for the future. It's a commitment which they make in the eyes of God. How important that is. So life is a matter of commitments. In every day in our life, in almost everything we do, what one person does depends upon what another has pledged to do. Take another example, friendship. If you have a friend, that's a commitment. Sometimes even friends have arguments. Sometimes they may even break up. Sometimes they may experience problems. Sometimes they may experience disappointments in the friendship, but the friendship will last if they are committed to it. Forgiveness and patience with each other's faults ensures that a friendship will stay alive. It will stay alive for a lifetime. The same is true in commitments if in business dealings. It's a commitment. You go to a job interview, you make sure you come on time, or you might not get the job or another interview. If you pay your bills, you will have good credit. If not, you're in trouble and have trouble in borrowing. And so in just about everything in life is a commitment. It's important. Remember, too, that if you don't keep little commitments, such as dates and appointments, you're going to, not to keep big ones as well. So there's a hierarchy there. The mirror-bearing women made a fundamental pledge to be at the grave of Jesus. This commitment was a pledge to be always available to Jesus. Not just at his son's grave, at Jesus' grave, to God. It's a, it's a bottom line commitment in life. We're told that children have two basic fears. One basic fear is falling. The other basic fear is loud noises. Psychologists and psychiatrists say there's also a third, the fear of abandonment. Tragically today, in so many families across this country of ours and society, there are so many broken families and, in a sense, abandoned children. They live without direction. They live without focus. They live without guidance. They live without inspiration. They live without support. Is it any wonder, where do they go? To gangs. They join a gang of criminals. And in their daily life on the street, that's their future. They're looking to be able to be accepted by another human being, to be encouraged. No one wants to be ignored or abandoned in life. Psychiatrists tell us that a little child instinctively knows that it needs help. And so the child is terrified by this pr prospect of being left alone. One of the basic cries of a little child's heart is, please, don't leave me. So our need for reliable companionship is no less real than our need for clothing and food and shelter. A writer once said these words, God was against loneliness before he has, was against sin. That's why he created Eve for Adam as a life partner, a companionship, a companion in life. In the Old Testament before Adam and Eve sinned, he said, it's not good for a person to live alone. He did not want Adam to be alone, nor Eve, and he does not want you and I to be lonely in our lives. That is why he gave you and I, us, one another. I came across an example about this in a book 
On a busy downtown street, a little girl wandered away from her babysitter. She got lost. The policeman tried to help her get home. He asked her, honey, where do you live? She said simply, I live with my mother. Well, he said, where does your mother live? And she answered with a big smile on her face, and she said, my mother lives with me. Exasperated, he asked her again, where do you and your mother live? And she said, with each other. Her reality, her reason in life, her hope, her security, her future, her identity was with another human being, her mother. The mirror-bearing women understood this. They were not going to abandon Jesus, even though he was dead. They went to that grave to honor him, to love him, and to give him the, their, their great devotion. So, my dear people, the little girl didn't know her street address, but she certainly did know one of the primary and most important fundamental truths about people, the primacy of togetherness. So this is a lesson of the mirror-bearing women. Who or what is important in your life? Who are you dedicating yourself to? And what are you dedicating yourself for? That is the connection, one to the other. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us all say with our whole soul, with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. Lord Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Mercy. Again, we pray for our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, for our Most Reverend Metropolitan, William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for those who serve and have served in this Holy Church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the people here present who await your great and abundant mercy, for those who show us mercy, for all Christians of the true faith. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. You are merciful and loving God. We give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us who mystically represent the cherubim and sing the thrice holy hymn to the life creating Trinity, now set aside all earthly cares, all earthly cares, now set aside.
May the Lord God remember in his kingdom our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, our most reverend Metropolitan William, our God-loving Bishop Kurt, the entire priestly, diaconal, and monastic order, our civil authorities, and all in the service of our country, and the ever-memorable founders and benefactors of this holy church. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom all you Christians of the true faith, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. That we may receive, receive the King of all, invisibly escorted by an angelic host. precious gifts placed before us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Grant these are the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together with your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. <laughs> Let us love one another that with one mind we may profess. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, <laughs> one in essence and undivided. In wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the only begotten, born of the Father before all ages, Light from light, true God from true God. Begotten, not made, one in essence with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. He rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he is coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, together with the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I profess one baptism for the remission of sin. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand aright. Let us stand in awe. Let us be attentive to offer the holy anaphora in peace. Mercy, peace, a sacrifice of Pray. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and Father, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and just. It is proper and just to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, 
to worship you in every place of your dominion. We also thank you for this liturgy, which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six wing many eyes, soaring aloft in their wings, singing, shouting, crying aloud, and saying the triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory, O Son. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son, in the highest. We also cry out with these blessed powers, a loving and kind master, and say, Holy are you, and all holy you, and your only begotten Son, and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you, and all holy and magnificent is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish but have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan on our behalf on the night he was betrayed, or rather when he surrendered himself for the life of the world. He took bread into his holy, all pure and immaculate hands, gave thanks and blessed, <clears throat> sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles saying, take eat, this is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sin. Amen. Likewise, he took the chalice after supper saying, drink of this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sin. Amen. <laughs> Remembering therefore this saving command and all that has come to pass in our behalf, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, the second coming in glory, offering you your own from your own, always and everywhere. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you. you to this spiritual and bloody sacrifice we implore pray and entreat you <clears throat> send down your holy spirit upon us and upon these gifts lying before us <clears throat> make this bread the precious body of your christ that which is in this chalice the precious blood of your christ changing them by your holy spirit that for those who partake of them they may bring about a spirit of vigilance remission of sins communion of your holy spirit fullness of the heavenly kingdom confidence in you not judgment or condemnation Moreover, we offer you this spiritual sacrifice for those departed in faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, for every just spirit <clears throat> brought to perfection in faith, especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and every virgin there be. The angel exclaim to her full of praise rejoice o pure virgin and again i say rejoice your son is risen from the grave on the third day and has raised the dead rejoice all you nations shine in splendor all new jerusalem for the glory of the lord 
is risen upon you. O Zion, now dance and be glad, and you pure Theotokos, rejoice in the resurrection of your Son. Among the first, all I remember our Holy Father, Francis Pope of Rome, our most reverend metropolitan, William, our God-loving Bishop Kurt, preserve them for your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. And remember all your people. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. Now that we have commemorated all the saints, again, again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord have mercy. With the precious gifts offered and consecrated that our God who loves us all, May we see them on his holy, heavenly, and mystical altar as an aroma of spiritual fragrance. Send down upon us your return to his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Asking for unity in the faith, we commune to the Holy Spirit. Let us commit ourselves to one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. And make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation dare call you Father, God of heaven, and say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the King and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Now your heads to the Lord. To you, O Lord. Through the grace and mercies of loving kindness of your only begotten Son, of whom you are blessed together with your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us be attentive, holy gifts to holy people. One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. O Lord, I believe and profess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will not reveal your mysteries to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I profess you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I'm about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. 
O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. <clears throat> Approach and fear God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Receive the body of Christ. Drink the source of immortality. Receive the body of Christ. Drink the source of immortality. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ is risen. 
Christ is risen, Christ is risen. Wondrous peace the world embraces, God is present in all places. Let us join the angels' voices, all mankind this day rejoices. With all gladness we profess, Christ is risen, Christ is risen. Christ is risen, Christ is risen. Joy from heaven is around us. Christ our flesh now dwells among us. Lift your hearts and lift your voices. Mankind gratefully rejoices. God gave gladness from above. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Heaven's joy has come upon us. Blessed Easter ends all sadness. On this day with joy declaring, God has given, we are sharing. We are saved from all distress. Christ is risen, Christ is risen. Christ is risen, Christ is risen. All from slumber now are risen. On this day new life is given. Earth and heaven heard with story of the triumph and of the glory. All rejoiced, for we are blessed. Christ is risen, Christ is risen. Christ is risen, Christ is risen. In the midst of every nation, let there be this proclamation that in Christ we now are risen. A new life to us is given. Live in peace and happiness. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen, Christ is risen. Wondrous peace the world embraces. God is present in all places. Let us join the angels' voices. All mankind this day rejoices. With all gladness we profess, Christ is risen, Christ is risen. Christ is risen from the dead, Christ is risen from the dead, Christ is risen from the dead. By death these trampled death, by death these trampled death, and to those in the tombs, and to those in the tombs, 
He's granted, he's granted, he's granted life. By death he's trampled death. By death he's trampled death. And to those in the tombs, and to those in the tombs, he's granted, he's granted, he's granted life. By death he's trampled death, by death he's trampled death. And to those in the tombs, and to those in the tombs, he's granted, he's granted, he's granted <clears throat> life. Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance, for Christ is risen. Christ is risen from the dead. By death he's trampled death, and to those in the tombs he's granted life. Blessed is our God always, now and ever and forever. Amen. May our mouth be filled with your praise, O Lord so that we may sing of your glory, sing of your glory. For you have deemed us worthy to partake of your holy, divine, immortal, pure and life-creating mysteries. Keep us in your holiness so that all the day long we may live according to your truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Arise now that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, Life creating an awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily thank the Lord. The Lord have mercy. For you are sanctification, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord, blessing those who bless you, sanctifying those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. Do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our government, to all your people. For all generous giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. We give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Now and forever, now and forever. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and loving kindness, always, now and ever and forever. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ, God, our hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and forever amen lord have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy give the blessing may christ our true god risen from the dead have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his most pure mother of the holy glorious and illustrious apostles of our holy father john chrysostom archbishop of constantinople 
O the Holy Mother, God Mary, the patroness of this church, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all. Amen. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. Christos was crescent. Poes then is was crescent. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. Christ is risen from the dead, by death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs he granted life. Christos vos crece is met smetius met popra, Jesus jevorobi, Christ is risen from the dead, by death he's trampled death, and to those in the tombs he's granted life, and to us he's granted life eternal. Let us bow before his resurrection on the third day. Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christ is risen from the dead. By death, by death, he trampled death. By death, by death, he trampled death, and to those in the tombs, and to those in the tombs, he's granted, he's granted, he's granted life. God grant Father Peter many and many happy years. God grant him many years. God grant him many years. God grant him many blessed years. In health and happiness, in health and happiness, God grant him many 